Hi, this is Mark Adahar from Xcope, where we level you up. And the purpose of this video is to show you how to reconstitute your peptides, okay? Now, uh, what, what reconstitution means is that um, you have, uh, that um, basically some of the peptides are delivered as a powder uh, and you have to turn it into a solution in order to inject it. And that's what reconstitution means. Now, uh, you know, different uh, peptides require different, um, uh, different, uh, there's different uh, amounts you, you reconstitute it with. And that is something I will, um, you know, that I will let you know or we will provide in the instructions when you receive your medication. Uh, or, yeah, or uh, it will be written, uh, written down for you. But the purpose of this video is to show you how to do it, okay? Uh, it's really quite simple, nothing you, uh, for you to worry about. Uh, and again, if you have any questions, you can please, uh, you can always contact uh, Denise or me at our office. Um, and I'd be, we'd be happy to talk you through it or, or I'd be happy to uh, show you, okay? So, uh, for this uh, video, I have uh, what we call MOT, uh, MOT S dash C, which is a type of a mitochondrial stimulator, uh, but um, you know, the most common is um, you know, CJC, uh, which is a powder which we deliver to you. Uh, but this is MOT C, and you can see here, it's a powder, it's not a liquid, okay? So, in order to inject this, you have to uh, turn it into a solution so that you can inject it appropriate, uh, inject it appropriately. Now, you will also get a vial of bacteriostatic water, okay? Uh, you should get uh, a syringe that's about this big and a needle, a thick needle like this, uh, and uh, an alcohol pad, okay? So, the instructions uh, here to, to reconstitute uh, my, uh, um, my S-C is that it requires, um, no, this one requires uh, one, uh, or uh, one milliliter, okay? One full, uh, I'm sorry, 10 milliliters uh, to uh, reconstitute this, okay? Uh, reconstitute a bacteriostatic gel, yeah. So for example, for, um, for uh, what do you call it? For uh, uh, CJC, it's six milliliters. Um, for this one, it um, it is uh, I believe ten milliliters. One milliliter. I'm sorry. This is one milliliter. So you inject. Uh, we're going to reconstitute one milliliter here. Okay. So now, uh, okay. So basically, what you do is make sure you always wash your hands before you deal with any of your medications. You're going to open up your alcohol pad. Okay. And then you take your vial of bacteriostatic water and you uh, pop the top and you wipe the top uh, with the alcohol pad, okay? Then you also open the top of your peptide with the powder in it, the vial, and you wipe the top of it, okay? Good, so these are prepared. Uh, now, you're gonna take the needle, the big needle, the, the big needle, okay? And you're gonna screw it on, okay? Now, what you do is you take uh, from the bacteriostatic water, from the water vial, you're gonna take the appropriate amount. Again, in this situation, it's one milliliter, uh, but in uh, often in your CJC, uh, ipamorelin, it's six milliliters, okay? The difference is that this one, it's uh, we inject one milliliter and we, or we reconstitute with one milliliter and we inject the entire thing all at one time. Uh, this is a once a month dose, uh, or once a week dose, CJC, six milliliters, you're gonna withdraw from that same vial uh, five, um, point one unit uh, five times a week, and so you need six milliliters uh, because that one vial is gonna last you uh, for, um, for uh, at least several weeks, okay? So what I'm doing is I, I inserted the needle and I am withdrawing, I'm gonna withdraw a little bit like this, okay? And you can see I'm past the one milliliter mark again, Again, you might be six. If you're six, what you're gonna do is you're gonna withdraw to the seven, okay? Uh, you're gonna withdraw to seven. There's a little bit of a suction on this, so be careful. Seven, and then you're gonna back down to the six, okay? Then you turn it upside down and you remove it, okay? And then you have six milliliters uh, ready to inject. Again, my vial here is one milliliter, so I'm gonna redo it, okay? So. Okay, so I've reinserted the needle, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna withdraw one milliliter. 
I'm gonna to go to the two, and then I'm gonna push down to one, okay? And then I'm gonna remove this, and so I watch the light. I'm gonna have one milliliter, one milliliter in this syringe, okay? Then you take your vial, okay? And then you insert the needle, and basically, it practically sucks itself into the, into the vial, because the system is under pressure. Now, if it doesn't, um, you know, you gently push, you want you don't want to push directly into the powder if you can if you can kind of push to the to the side of the vial because um, you know the peptide can be um, can be fragile and you don't want to you don't want to directly inject into the powder so you know either inject it very slowly or you know inject towards the vial towards the top so the liquid drips down onto the onto the peptide okay now so now you can see that it's liquid right instead of a powder now it's, you want to mix this gently okay. So basically, don't shake it like this, okay? Just kind of like swirl it around like this, maybe turn a little bit, and you know, given time, it's, uh, you'll see that there's no powder left, okay? And it's gonna be all liquid. Okay, just like that, pretty much all liquid. Uh, pretty much all liquid. Okay, pretty much all liquid. I'm just, there's a little bit of powder on the side of the vial here, you can see I'm just, trying to get that to go into the, I'm just trying to wait until that um, dissolves completely. So I'm rubbing it back and forth and it's starting to completely dissolve. Perfect. Okay, great. Now remember, you don't want to shake it back and forth. You just kind of want to do actions like this to twirl it around gently and it's completely dissolved. Okay, now time to inject. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle, okay? My insulin syringe, I'm going to turn it upside down and this is, uh, and again, if you're using CJC, you injected six ml and you're gonna use only uh, 10 units. This is a different medication. This requires uh, 100 units essentially. So basically what I'm doing is I'm gonna fill up this entire syringe. The syringe actually is uh, only 30 units. So I'm gonna have to do this, you know, four, uh, three times, okay? So, but basically what you do, okay, you pull it out, okay? Now, you wanna inject anywhere you could pinch fat. It's, Ideally, they say the love handle because it's not as sensitive. I personally either do it in my lower pelvis along the belt, which is less sensitive. Uh, sometimes I do it in my butt because I don't feel it at all. But in this, for this video, I'm gonna do it in the in the in the love handle. Okay, so I'm gonna go like this. Okay, I'm gonna just pinch a little bit like that. Oh, you have to rub it with alcohol. Okay, like this. I'm gonna pinch it like this. Okay, I'm pinching it. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, good. And then I'm gonna do. Put it in, I don't feel it at all, and I'm gonna depress it, okay? And that's it, okay? And that's basically how you reconstitute and inject your peptide, okay? So if you. Please feel to reach out, uh, and um, hopefully, we'll see you soon. All right, take it easy, bye.